Hi, I'm Kans. Hi, I'm Samo. <laughs> We're the MCs for South of the Long Way. Sorry, thanks for coming into my brother's life and literally sweeping this man off his feet. Each time you're around, he literally lights up and he's always glowing when you're around. And when you were in Canada and couldn't be around all the time, there was not a second that went by where he didn't address you, talk about you, want to FaceTime you, call you, text you. And it was just magical to witness my brother like, literally falling in love right before my eyes. And you clearly swept her off her feet. I mean, homegirl moved to a whole different country for you, so you did something great. So fun. I just want to let you know that um, I'm extremely proud of you. Uh, I know that Dad is here with us tonight. He's extremely proud of the guy and the man you have become. I am very proud to call you my brother. Um, and tonight I've gained another sister. I already have two badass monsters. <laughs> Sarah is one of my favorite human beings. She's so full of joy and love, and being in her presence just makes you so happy. So I wasn't surprised when Sopa, like a moth drawn to a flame, came over every day while she was visiting from Canada. I don't think he wasn't dressed for church every night either. Not long after that, the global pandemic came into effect. You don't know the rest. These last couple of years have tested all of us in ways uh, we could have never imagined. For those with international relationships, this ordeal has only been magnified. It is not an understatement to say that these two were really tested. When they opened their hearts, the world closed theirs. You don't wish tests and difficulties for anyone, but I think if you ask them, they would look back with gratitude because not only has the last couple of years made them stronger as individuals, testing their characters, but they have grown closer and the bonds of love were reinforced. The foundation that has been built for them has paved the way for this fortress to reach the heavens. I love you guys so much. We are here for you and we all want you to succeed. Congratulations and best of luck. to witness you follow your heart and no matter what challenges and obstacles you two literally face, you know, like coming to this country and all the government issues and all of that, you, we're literally all here today because you two were so determined to become one and I'm so happy to be able to witness it, I'm so happy to be a part of it, I'm so happy to be your little sister, here's the best. You too, Sina, but tonight is about so fun. I would like to just say I'm so proud of the man you've become. You're an amazing brother. You're very loving and kind and selfless. And I look up to you for all the great qualities you have. Every person in this room would pretty much probably die for you. And that's not a common thing you find in this world. And I know Dad is here too. I know that Susina mentioned it. I feel his spirit. You are literally like Daddy's twins.
Today you guys have made a very, very big and important decision in your lives. And, you know, the really what it comes down to is from there on out, the fulfillment and commitment of the duties bestowed between the both of you is what is going to eventually become the success and the progress of your relationship going forward. So every day you guys have to wake up with the intention to fulfill the duty for the other person. That is your purpose from this day forward. It's not about you anymore. It's not about, I'm sorry, but any of the people in this room. It's about you two and the commitment and the fulfillment of the duties that you have to one another. And that is what is gonna be the success of your relationship. You know, being married is not an easy thing, but it is very fun and it is very fulfilling. And I wish you all the best in this new journey in your lives. In the Baha'i faith, marriage is a weighty institution. Among other things, it's an eternal spiritual bond, a commitment between two souls to accompany one another throughout the worlds of God, to support one another, to protect one another, to love one another. It is a mutual attachment of both mind and heart, buttressed by the support of the couple's families and friends. Baha'i marriage is a unification of two souls and two families, nurtured by the bonds of fellowship and love. A Baha'i wedding ceremony is almost elusively simple in that the only requirement is exchanging a 10-word vow in front of two witnesses. That's it. No clergy, no sermons, no rituals. We will all verily abide by the will of God. And now Sarah and Sopan will be exchanging their vows and rings. We will all verily abide by the will of God. We will all verily abide by the will of God.